Digiscoping has become popular with both birders and photographers. It's a lot of fun and it's not hard. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Zeiss camera adapter. To mount the bracket on the tripod, just swing it around so it looks like this. If you're mounting an angled scope, you need to adjust it for the angle. Then remove the quick release plate from the tripod and attach it to the bottom of the bracket. Make sure that the holes line up, both holes. Screw it in, not quite tight because you're going to want to adjust it a little bit. There you go. And then just slip it into the tripod and you're set to go. You'll mount the adapter on the tripod itself and then you're going to mount the scope on the adapter. As you do, make sure that the eyepiece is lined up with the adapter bracket. Wiggle it, get it lined up nice. This is how it should look. If it doesn't look like this with the arm pointed down and the, and the platform facing rear, then you may have to reassemble it. The instructions are at www.zbirding.info. I added some Velcro because the camera I have tips forward without it. Adjust the camera behind the eyepiece in three directions. It moves up and down, it moves sideways on the platform itself, and the whole platform moves in and out behind the eyepiece to get it the right distance. Mount the camera on the bracket using the tripod screw. Don't tighten it down tight yet. Turn the camera on so you can see what you're doing. And then just eyeball it. Line it up as well as you can behind the eyepiece. Loosen the bracket and adjust it vertically as well. What you're looking for, you want to have the little circle of light right in the center of your LCD. Once you have it, then it's just a matter of setting the sweet spot. Slide the bracket in and out till you get the fullest, roundest, most complete image on the LCD. At that point you can probably just zoom the camera up a little to get rid of the vignetting. It should look something like this. Finally, loosen the set screw and move it down against the bracket arm. That way, when you need to move the camera out in order to swing it to the side, you'll be able to reposition it quickly and easily. Swing it out, swing it right back in, drop it down, and you're ready to take your picture. That's all there is to it. You're ready to go now, ready to have fun digiscoping. 